Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're, what we're doing here is finding areas of right triangles. Now, to, in order to find an area of a triangle or a right triangle in this case, what we're going to do is sort of trick the world here. We're going to take that triangle and we're going to create a rectangle, noticing that this particular triangle is one half the size of the entire rectangle that's created. So, in order to find the area of just the triangle or the space inside the shape here, what I'm going to do is find the area of the entire shape and then divide that by two or take half of that particular total. And so it's a nice little trick way of doing things, um, but it's very effective and it works. So there are two values that I need. I need a base value, which is going to be my 31.2 right here, and I need a height value, which is my 9.1, because once again, if I create that rectangle, this guy is my 31.2, here's my base, and here's my height there. All right, so here's my base, and there's my height. Now, what does this look like as far as the formula is concerned? Well, we're going to start with area, and so we're going to take the half of the base times the height. And I like to use parentheses because I like to deal with the base and the height first, so I'm finding the area of that particular rectangle by multiplying these two guys. So this will give me the area of the rectangle and then multiplying that by one half or dividing it by two, depending on how you want to look at it. This then gives me the triangle okay. after I take half of that area of the rectangle. Okay, so let's put one into action here. So we have one half times my 31.2. So this will be my second line times my 9.1 value. Okay, so there's my 9.1 value. And so we need to do a little bit of work. So, let me clear the slate over here a little bit, make some room for some, some work. Let me change colors too. So I have my 31.2, and I have my 9.1. Now what I'm going to do is get rid of my decimals here by multiplying things uh, by 10. So I have, or restructuring the place value. So I have 312 tenths, and I have 91 tenths. And by doing that, I now am multiplying whole numbers, which is great. So I have my 9 times 1 gives me 2, then a 1, then a 3. I'm feeling pretty good. And then my 9 times 2 gives me my 18. 9 times 1 is nine, equals 9, plus 1 gives me 10. 9 times 3, 27, plus 1, 28. Add that down. There's a 2, a 9, a 3, an 8, and another 2. I have tenths times tenths, which gives me hundredths. And so if I have 28,392 hundredths, that's the same as saying I have 283.92, or 283 and 92 hundredths. Okay, so here's my value uh, after, or my product, excuse me, after multiplying. Let's see, Let me do that again. So 283.92, and I want half of that value. Okay. And if I want half of that value, uh, the best way to take care of that is to multiply it, excuse me, divide it by 2. Okay, we do that in red. So, 283.92 divided by 2. Put my decimal right up there. I'll do a little shorthand here, or short division. Uh, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 times, 2 goes into uh, 3 once with one left over, I'll put that guy over there. Two goes into 19. Nine times for 18, one left. I'll put that guy over there for 12. Two goes into 12 six times, and I'm feeling pretty good. So area equals 141.96, and our unit is centimeters, and we're looking at squares. Okay, so 141.96 centimeters squared. Remember the rectangle that it was created? Here's the area of that particular rectangle. We took half of it, and this gives me the area of the triangle it created. Okay? That's the deal, folks. Now, those were numbers that, that caused a little bit of havoc for us to do a little bit of extra work. Some of them are much more clean, but essentially, that's the deal. Okay? Thanks so much, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.